uh, new in just the last couple of minutes, I wanted to tell you about this. FTX is trading a new CEO, John Ray, saying in a court filing, quote, never in my career have I seen such a complete failure of corporate controls and such a complete absence of trustworthy financial information, information as occurred here. He said FTX did not keep appropriate books and records or security controls with respect to its digital assets. He also slammed the company for concentrating control in the hands of a small group of inexperienced, unsophisticated, and potentially compromised individuals. Ray saying that Sam Bankman Freed is in the Bahamas and continues to make erratic and misleading public statements. So, Wait a second, this uh, is the guy who did the Enron stuff? Says he's never seen anything like this before? And he's come in now to try to clean up <laughs> this bar. bankruptcy. You, you saw Sam Bankman fried by the way, in wow. some of his DMs yesterday, say that he thinks that his biggest mistake was in allowing the company to file for Chapter 11, <laughs> and that if he had been given the opportunity to just hold on to these assets, for another month, everybody would be made whole, and that he's still out there trying to raise $8 billion because he believes he can somehow rescue said firm. Of course, the firm saying that Sam Bankman Freed is separated from the firm, so whatever he's saying, well, A, unclear whether it makes any sense to begin with, uh, and that's me putting it politely, but B, sort of what what is supposed to happen here. So I just want to say this one more time. This is the guy, John Ray, who did the Enron stuff. Never <laughs> in my career have I ever seen such a complete failure of corporate controls and such a complete absence of trustworthy financial information as occurred here. No CFO, uh, no board no of board. directors, yep. and an auditor from New Jersey that made Madoff's guy look like a Price Waterhouse. <laughs> but, but I will say, <laughs> and this goes to the point we were saying, would, uh, uh, were there a lot of people who knew about this? And I think one of the things he's saying, which I think is right, I think this was like a little company almost to begin with. Yeah. And there were probably literally half a dozen, a dozen people who at least understood what was going on. I don't think this is actually hundreds of people who were in on this I scam. I think this was a couple of folks all living in a penthouse in the Bahamas uh, that were somehow managing this what seemed to be empire that was not much of an empire after all.